Hello, welcome back to the Basketball Soapbox. I'm Daniel Daly. Um, thanks for joining me as we continue our questions for each team in the NBA. Uh, we're still in the Central Division. Uh, just finished up my video on the Chicago Bulls. If you want to check that out, that will be on the channel, so please check that out. But we're moving on to the Cleveland Cavaliers, who finished last season uh, losing to the Boston Celtics in the second round. Had a tough round first series against the Orlando Magic, a little bit more difficult than they probably wanted. Um, which led them to firing their coach, J.B. Bickerstaff, and bringing in Kenny Atkinson. Um, and looking at this team, they just had riddled injuries last year with Jared Allen and Darius Garland having weird injuries, um, being in and out of the lineup, having some identity issues there, uh, uh, changing on from Jared Allen. It looked like they played better with Evan Mobley at the five. Um, but they're bringing everybody back. They're bringing back Jared Allen. Evan Mobley, Darius Garland. Um, some people are kind of iffy on Darius Garland in the backcourt of him and Mitchell. Um, there were some question marks about um, Donovan Mitchell staying, but he signed an extension, so everything's in good graces with that. Um, bringing in Kenny Atkinson is probably the biggest question because that is my question there. Can he open up this offense? This offense has been bogged down, and they usually play a slow pace and try to focus on the defensive end. Uh, but it looks like Kenny Atkinson and this team is looking to improve that offensive end. They have not been in the top 20 of points per game scored since probably LeBron was there. That was 2018. I believe they were fifth in the league at that time in scoring. Um, that's when the Cavs didn't focus on defense. But overall, this team has been a top team in defense the past couple of years. And it seems like that's the thing on with this team is that the offensive end has just been bogged down. And it really became apparent in the postseason where it's really just Donovan Mitchell. Jared Allen was able to contribute when he did come back. But outside of that, you're still waiting on the growth of Evan Mobley. Darius Garland was bogged down by injury. Um, Karis LeVert, Max Strucher, depending on guys like that. And you're just trying to figure out ways to open up this offense because if it's just one person scoring, that's not going to help your team. If you don't have enough shooting for Max Struess and other guys, they're still waiting on the development of Isaac Coro. Okoro. So looking at this team and looking at what Kenny Atkinson has done in the past with that Brooklyn Nets team, he really turned them around um, before the whole Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving uh, 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 <laughs> immunity against those guys. They didn't want him as coach and brought in Steve Nash. Um, but overall, he really had that team playing well with D'Angelo Rus uh, Russell, um, Jared Dudley and guys like that of that nature. Karis LeVert as well. Back in that was a couple of years. That was a decade ago, nearly a decade ago. So that was his last time as a head coach. They are getting pulled from Brooklyn. Um, he's been an assistant with the Clippers. He's been an assistant the past couple of years with Golden State and now working his way back to Cleveland. And I think that's pretty much the big job on his hands is to figure out a way to open up this offense, right? And if it's just going to be Donovan Mitchell at the top trying to score, that's probably not going to happen. We've seen that happen in Utah where he's had big outburst games, but the rest of the team was bogged down. You see what happened last year in Cleveland in the playoffs and them just getting bogged down again where it just got stagnant. Evers two relying on him, and that's a lot, even for Donovan Mitchell, who's probably one of the best playoff scorers in the game today and histor historically, I think, if you look that up. Um, but overall, they need to figure out how to get more guys involved, get Darius Garland going, having him be more comfortable. Um, Hopefully, Evan Mobley can stretch and become a three-point shooter at some point, stretch the floor. Maybe that will open up things, maybe a little bit more pick and pop. And I think that's what Cleveland has been waiting for for the past couple of years is just the development of Evan Mobley and how far he can run and rise. And he's still a young kid. So that's another thing, too, where people are looking at him to um, take the next step and become a legitimate player on the offensive end. We know what he can do defensively. He's pretty solid on that side of the floor. And you're wondering if that means that they have to move on from Jared Allen to create that space, right? And put that pressure on him to play at the five and give the Cavaliers a new dynamic because you can possibly get more shooting on the floor around them. Um, but that's a decision they're going to have to make. Of course, Jared Allen would have suitors. He's still a dominant, pretty solid big man, double, double big man. Um, gets you 15 points a game, 16 points a game and 10 rebounds and block shots. A lot of teams can use that, right? Uh, the Lakers could use that. Uh, uh, um, Team down there in uh, the South. New Orleans can use them. The Pelicans can definitely use him um, as an option. So there's some teams out there that can definitely, the Cleveland Cavaliers can look to um, add to that and make some trades, I think. Maybe even if it's a Brandon Ingram or Trey Murphy from New Orleans, I like that deal for them. It adds a little bit more shooting, a little bit more offensive creativity, spaces the floor. Um, 
And having Evan Mobley at the five is probably the best option. But they have some options there. But it's just can Kenny Atkinson open up this team? And he's did really, really well with D'Angelo Russell. Had him as an all star. Had him looking viable um, and playing well. So definitely looking at it from that standpoint. Can he open up this Cleveland offense? And that's something that I'm going to be looking for over the course of the season. We know what they can do defensively. Um, they've been playing the slowest pace in the league because of that defense and mainly just to kind of preserve Donovan Mitchell there when he's playing and, and scoring and facilitating and doing all that on the offensive end. But in terms of where this team is going to go and how to get to the next level, they have to shoot more threes and the offense has to score more. <laughs> They're good defensively. They can do everything else, but they have to find easier ways to score, shoot the ball really well. Um, that's the next step for the Cleveland Cavaliers, as I see. Can Kenny Atkinson do that is the question. Can he open up that side of the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers? And that's my question for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Next, we will be moving on to the Motor City, Detroit. Thank you.